And I'm John. And today, we're having fun with Easter candy. It's going to be sweet. Let's get started. Today, we're going to find out what's inside these chocolate eggs. We'll take turns picking a chocolate egg and cracking it on our head. And then we're going to see what's inside. This is probably going to get a little messy, but it looks like a lot of fun. Definitely. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. I think that you should go first. Okay. Be cool with that. Which one should I do though? Which egg? Um, that one? Maybe? That one? Okay. okay. Let's do this one first. There we go. So I don't get it on the hat. Oh, there you go. Toss that there. All right. On my head? Yeah. Crack like, it? Like right in the front of your head. Of course, as one does. All right. Ow! This thing's heavy. <laughs> What's inside? Oh, oh, wow! Oh, wow! It's a little chocolate dinosaur toy thing. This is awesome. It looks like a little, little dinosaur. Yeah, it's a little dinosaur. That's fun. Oh, that's so cool. It's a little, uh, little triceratops. Nice. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. That's a super cool little dinosaur. See if it's any good. It's good. That's very good. Chocolate inside chocolate. Who would have known? Nice. Okay, I'm gonna go with this little guy. Play it safe for the first first round. Just this little guy. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Ow. <laughs> Wait, maybe I should like loosen yeah, it up a little the table bit first. Okay, let's try it. Sounded like it hurt. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. What is in this? Oh man! Ooh, it's mushy. It is like it's full peanut buttery stuff. You gotta try it. Is it peanut butter? It definitely smells like peanut butter. Mhm. Mm it's full of peanut butter. Peanut butter. That is pretty good. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's great in an egg. Not great on your forehead. But that's okay. Not so much. All right, I'm gonna go with this one. Okay. Right here. All right. I'm nervous about this one. All right, ready? You got it. One, two. Oh, that's mushy. <laughs> oh, no. Is that? Ah, uh, that's marshmallow. Does it look good? Does it look good? Uh, yeah. Stuck to my head? Oh, that's really stuck in my, yep. Yeah. That's marshmallow. That's a great hairstyle for you. <laughs> I'm sure it is. I think I look awesome. That's a lot of, that's a lot of marshmallow. All right. Man, I love this game. <laughs> <laughs> so there's only one left. That one's yours. So this one's mine. Let's see, hopefully this one breaks open easier than the last one. One, two, three. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness, they're little unicorns. Oh, little unicorns. That's little exciting. Little unicorns. Fun. fun. This is a little messy. I'm sorry about your hair. <laughs> hey, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do for the game. It was a lot of fun. Good job. A lot of fun. I love Easter candy, and today I had so much fun. Me too, John. Easter candy is pretty sweet. But hey, kids, can you tell us who we celebrate on Easter? Shout it out. That's right, we celebrate Jesus. And today's Bible story is all about him. But first, it's time for the Creation Corner where we're gonna get our clue. So let's check it out. Hi everyone. Today we're gonna make a surprise egg. I love these. First, we'll put our surprise capsule in the egg mold. Then, we'll add the egg to the machine. Next, we'll add our chocolate. And we'll use this handle to spin the egg and make sure that the chocolate spreads out evenly. Finally, we'll give it some time to rest. When it's done and you add your wrapper, it'll come out looking something like this. Let's open it up now and see what's inside. Hey! It's a cross. We just found the clue for today's Bible story about when Jesus gave his life on a cross to save all of us. All right, everyone, stand up. It's time to jump into the Bible. One, two, three, jump.
This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. The Jewish leaders and teachers did not like what Jesus was doing or how he claimed to be the Son of God. And so they made a plan to arrest him to get rid of him once and for all. Judas, one of Jesus' disciples, agreed to betray Jesus come in, come in. and give him over to the religious leaders for some money. Jesus was in a garden praying and Judas showed the man who Jesus was. Jesus was arrested and taken to the rulers of the land so that they could decide what to do with him. Jesus was presented before the high council and they asked him if he was the Messiah, the savior of the Jews. They asked him if he was claiming to be the son of God. You say that I am. And the council was furious and they shouted that Jesus was guilty and he deserves to die. So they took Jesus before the Roman ruler Pilate and he heard the case against Jesus. Pilate didn't think that Jesus had done anything wrong. Huh, seems okay to me. They found him to be innocent, so Pilate said that he would punish Jesus and then release him. Ah! 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 Huh, what? But the crowd kept screaming louder and louder, crucify him, we want him dead. And because of the pressure of the crowd, Pilate turned Jesus over to the Roman soldiers to be crucified. Jesus was hurt and spit on, his clothes were torn and taken from him, and a crown made out of thorns was put on his head. He was beaten so badly that he could barely stand on his own, and then he was forced to carry his cross so far up a mountain that he needed help because he could not do it on his own. Once Jesus made it to the place where he would be crucified, called the skull, the soldiers around him nailed him to the cross and waited for him to die. While Jesus was hanging on the cross, many people shouted to him, If you really are the Son of God, save yourself from the cross. But Jesus knew he had to die to forgive his people for their sins. At noon, darkness fell across the whole land. Three hours later, Jesus took his last breath and finally died. At that very moment, the curtain in the temple that separated the priests from God's holy place tore in two. A soldier watching the whole thing said, This man truly was the Son of God. Then a righteous man named Joseph came and placed Jesus' body in a tomb. Three days passed and it seemed that there was no hope. But very early on Sunday morning, the woman who cared for Jesus went to go visit his body and found that his tomb was empty and that he was no longer there. Ah! Don't be afraid, said an angel. He is not here. He is risen. At this, the woman remembered that Jesus had told them that he would rise again on the third day and ran to go tell the disciples what they had seen and heard. Huh? hey -oh. ah! And then for the next 40 days, Jesus appeared to his disciples and many others and showed them that he was alive and well. He taught them that what he did was the only way that they could be forgiven and be with God forever. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish 
but have eternal life. I love that Bible story. <laughs> Me too. And now it's time for Super Speed Trivia. So everyone stand up, put on your thinking caps, and get ready to show us what you remember from today's story. Super Speed Trivia! Where was Jesus arrested? In a garden or at the zoo? If you think the answer is in a garden, clap your hands. Or if you think the answer is at the zoo, stomp your feet. Jesus wasn't arrested at the zoo. That's right, Jesus was arrested in a garden. Who placed Jesus' body in a tomb? A man named Joseph or Jonah? If you think the answer is a man named Joseph, clap your hands. Or if you think the answer is Jonah, stomp your feet. Jonah didn't place Jesus in a tomb. That's right. Joseph placed Jesus' body in a tomb. Why was the tomb empty? Because it smelled like cheese? Or because Jesus is alive? If you think the answer is because it smelled like cheese, clap your hands. Or if you think the answer is because Jesus is alive, stomp your feet. The tomb wasn't empty because it smelled like cheese. That's right, the tomb was empty because Jesus is alive. Awesome job, everyone. You can sit down now. Jesus loves us so much that he died on a cross so that we could be forgiven of our sins. Jesus came to save us, and he loves us no matter what, even though we don't deserve it. And now, Jesus is alive. He's so powerful that he even beat death. And Easter is all about him. That's right. And Easter candy's fun, but really Easter's all about Jesus. And that's today's big idea. Easter is all about Jesus. Let's say that together. Easter, Easter is all about, about Jesus. Jesus. One more time. Easter, Easter is all about, about Jesus. Jesus. Hey, I say we keep this super sweet celebration going with a dance, dance party. party. Everyone stand up and dance with us. Let's hit it, DJ. 